The first step of establishing your individualized range of motion program is to build your fitness profile. Let's walk through this process. You can see I've pre-filled the fields here with completed numbers already. Effectively, what you are doing is rating a series of variables on a scale of one to 10. You can see on the right here, we have a little description. These variables measure how proficient you are at lifting heavy external loads. One for low proficiency, if it's something you struggle with, 10 for high proficiency. And again, you can see I've pre-filled these fields. Normally you would go through and complete these either yourself or with your personal coach. We go through to the next page, which is the same thing for various power movements, incorporating Olympic lifting, jumps and throws. Moving on to relative strength and stamina. Work capacity, which goes from running to rowing, air bikes, etc., over varying time domains. Moving on to neuromuscular efficiency. This measures whether you are able to complete a lot of reps close to your one rep max, or if you can't complete a lot of reps close to your one rep max. This basically tells us how efficient you are at turning on all of your muscle fibers. This will help to influence the type of program that you will achieve. We then move on to medical. So here you will tick a box based on whether you are at high risk for a certain medical condition, whether you have a family history for that medical condition, or whether you actually have a current diagnosis for this medical condition. These are the main categories you can see, seven categories here. For an example of each category, you can click here on the right and the drop down will give you some examples. For example, heart disease, examples of high blood pressure, heart attack, angina, and peripheral arterial disease. For any condition, as I mentioned, that you have a family history for that has a genetic component, you can tick that box as well. We then move on to our next category here, which is activities of daily living. This is asking you to rate your ability to do things like move your own body weight around, uh, having strength, maybe losing your balance or getting out of breath. How much do these things impact your activities of daily living? Now, it's important to note in the activities of daily living category, again, we look here on the right at the rating guide. You will give this a low score if this does limit you in life. You will give it a high score if it doesn't limit you in life. For example, if you are not able to open a jar or move heavy objects around if you're traveling or gardening, maybe you would give a low score in the not being strong enough category. If you have no problems getting out of breath, so you can walk up and down stairs, no problem, you would rate that high in the getting out of breath category because it doesn't limit you in life. Moving then on to importance. So this comes down to what your specific goals are. Now, of course, this is a program which is completely designed to improve your weaknesses because the contention is if you have a weakness, that is what's gonna limit your quality of life and your ability to function at a high level. However, importance is a key driver here. Do you want to increase muscle, rehab an injury, build more power and speed to be a better athlete in your chosen sport? This is where you can start to enter some of these goals to ensure that you are able to then transfer this into your life based on what's important to you. Again, this is a reverse scale. So if something is of a high importance, you will give it a low score. If something is of a low importance, you will give it a high score. Finally, moving on to enjoyment. Of course, this isn't just about the physical and physiological benefits of the program, but also the mental and psychological benefits. So we have four different categories here, and you will rate them based on how much you enjoy that particular type of exercise. Again, a reverse scale here where one is high enjoyment, 10 is low enjoyment. We can now click finish, and this will take us to our profile page. And here we have your fitness profile. The first thing to look at is your four letter profile. This ranks the four main areas that we look at in order from weakness to strength. You can see here we have a description of your profile, what it means, what is a weakness for you, what is a strength for you. And it also looks at maybe certain chronic conditions or medical conditions you may be at risk at based on your profile. Uh, it talks about the things you're gonna be protected against based on your profile. And it also will tell you a little bit about how this is gonna lead to the program that is going to be prescribed to you. You can see on the right here, we have these four different areas, work capacity, power, absolute strength and stamina, and relative strength and stamina. These four categories, which are then going to determine your balance, which you can see is reflected here in the middle in your fitness balance number. Your fitness balance number is basically the standard deviation of these four areas. The closer this is to zero, the more balanced you are. 
On the right here, you can see that this individual has low neuromuscular efficiency, which is going to impact their program. And you can see their abilities over time domains of varying lengths. So short sprint based work, which is the ATP phosphocreatin system, moderate range time range, which is the glycolytic energy system, and then longer sustained oxidative energy system. You can see the averages of various movements, so squat strength and power and posterior chain strength were the two lowest on average for this individual. Squat strength and power, for example, takes the average of your scores for your front squat, your back squat, your overhead squat, your squat snatch, and your squat claim. You can see for this individual, pressing relative strength and stamina is the highest average. We can see the five major strengths of this individual, the five major weaknesses of this individual, and then we can view everything on one set of axes. Of course, this then leads to your completely individualized program, which you can find through the training program tab. Training program will always begin with your start of cycle benchmark testing and then into the sessions themselves.